zone and these fault zones are identified using this long range system so a point identified using a long range system is not a groundwater point it is a fault zone so once after we identify this fault zone we go for the next step in the next step uh, a lot of us use low frequency sounding and a lot of us use the geo frequency sounding some of us use the vertical electrical sounding why we are using different techniques so in different areas with different soil and different rock condition we require different techniques so i'm going to explain you regarding each technique in different videos so before that i'm going to explain you when you are going to purchase a groundwater detector for your self use or for a service use or for a sale whatever it is first decide which area you are going to use the product and understand the geological condition of the area so you need to at least know the basic strata of that area altitude of that location rainwater recharge only after this based on the geological condition you need to select which technology is going to suit your geological condition of the area so only a basic thing what i'm going to tell you is when you are selecting an equipment before you ask the accuracy about the equipment know about the geological condition of your area only then the expert who is going